All right. Let you know that there's been a day that passed. Um, you know, I sat down and just looked at the character just now, and I'm like, you know, and you think about things when you're when you're just uh, out doing mundane things in life. If I look at it now, this is the motion of this foot, this thing. Okay, that's the motion of it. Okay, this right here, full motion. So, technically, how would this character walk? Okay. Would the character take out this all the way and then walk like a normal biped? Or would it have this thing? It just kind of goes forward, making it the most, one of the slowest creatures on the face of this planet. Okay, so when when you design creatures, even at this beginning level, you know, just just think of the the motion of things. How would this character walk? You know, later on you might even develop a walk cycle for it, and you're like thinking, well. This character can't walk even down a flight of stairs without falling in his face. So, what I want to do is probably eliminate this thing. Okay? Let's go in here. Just take that out for a second. And I'm just playing around with the free motion of this. And right now, the character could walk efficiently, but um, the whole thing is, if these hands were ever to go like this, this character would fall on his face. So I think technically what would be better is if I took an insect approach to life and develop a, a pair of hands or a leg that came off of here. Okay, let's look at that with A. Oh yeah, that's much creepier. Okay, then we'll put a little bend in the legs. And th these wouldn't have to have much on them. like insect legs now you can really see how having a backwards paw would really help because now this one's going forward, 
and just to play around with it you know this one's moving forward going like that and it has a full range and this one could go back at the same time yeah that's definitely very useful all right so another thing I wanted to touch up was here in the head right now I would technically run out of edge loops in the area to support any kind of uh, concept work here so right here would be the eyes okay now if the eyes were taken up there wouldn't be enough for the the mouth in this area so I'm going to try to squeeze another Z sphere in there let's see what happens So I might have to ex overextend this. There we go. Good. Good. Good enough. The rest I can move by hand. All right, the rest of the things, and just looking out for uh, polys that are really big that might not support a whole lot. So in here, I want an extra edge loop in there to support some features. And I'm just giving him a little bit of uh, posture, whatever this character was posture would be. So I want them at a very relaxed state. I want to have something right here to separate maybe later the the paw from the actual uh, leg so okay there we go I'm pretty happy with that I just wanted to make some changes to the actual structure or the movement of the creature all right please move on to the next video